Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you can see me. Sorry. Okay, welcome back. Um, so, I am really excited. I got a request to film my MAC collection, and there's a lot more here than I thought there was, so I just want to jump in and get started. So, the first thing I'm going to go over are face products. So, um, let's see. Okay, so the first one I have is the MAC Face and Body Foundation. I talked about this in my favorites. I love this because it's super, like, it gives you, like, a medium coverage and it's one that will stay all day on your face and I just I really love this product um, and the other one that I mentioned I've actually used up so I need to get a backup of that um, the next item uh, I want to talk about is my Mac MSF in light plus I love this you guys I use this I'll dust it all over my face and um, to set my foundation or sometimes I'll just use this by itself just to even out my skin tone. I love this and it's a great product. Uh, the next item is a highlighter. This is MAC Soft and Gentle. I know you guys have seen this before, uh, but it's just a beautiful highlighter. I love using it just to highlight the tops of my cheeks, the tops of my nose, um, just above my cupid's bow. It's just a beautiful all over highlight. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, the next thing is my Prep and Prime Highlighter in Radiant Rose. Now, I will admit, I don't use this as often as I wish that I did. Um, I meant to get it in Light Boost, um, but I grabbed the wrong color. Well, I was persuaded into this color. I mean, I like it, but I think I would like Light Boost on my skin better, so I think I'm going to go and pick that up, and I'll let you guys know what I think about that. Um, the next item is the MAC uh, Fix Plus, which you can see I've used almost all of. Um, I really do love this for setting my foundation. It's a great uh, setting spray, and I haven't really tried any others, so there's nothing that I can really compare it to, but it is really popular here on, uh, on YouTube, so it's got to be worth something, right? Uh, the other two products, one is a moisturizer and one is a primer. Um, this is the um, Natural Radiance Base Visions Primer. I really like this. I don't care for the smell of it, but um, it's a really great primer. It makes my makeup stay all day. And I don't have to worry about getting any extra oil on my face. Um, and then the um, oil control lotion is really nice too. I don't know how well this controls my oil. I have I have normal to oily skin So I get oily in the summertime and I'm normal in the winter time. Sometimes I can get a little dry So I've got more wet combo skin. But anyway, um, this oil control lotion is really nice I like the way it smells and it's great just for a daily moisturizer if nothing else so then we'll keep on face products here so i want to talk about two blushes the first one is mac peaches i love this blush you guys it's probably my favorite blush that i own in all of my makeup um collection it's just beautiful it's the perfect peachy pink color it's beautiful i highly recommend it it's great um, and then the other one i just recently picked up i didn't have a winter blush now I know it's getting into summertime. I picked this up a couple months back, so I'm a little late filming this. But it is in the color Breath. Wow, Breath of Plum, you guys. It's beautiful. It's just this really great um, purple-based pink blush. I don't know. I love it. It's great, especially in the winter time. Um, then let's go ahead and get into eye products. So I finally broke down. I told you guys that I did not own any MAC shadows. Um, that changed just a couple months ago. I decided to pick up just a couple basics because I really wanted to try them. They're extremely talked about, but like I said, they are so expensive that it was one of those products. I'm like, if I buy this, like they better be worth it and I can say that they are but I will say I only wear them on special occasions because of how expensive they were so I picked up three I picked up Max Sable so Sable yeah Max Sable and it's just a beautiful color I really love this for all over the lid then I picked up um, soft brown which is just a great in the crease color and um, you guys have probably seen this talked about too and the last color I got was Espresso. I love this. It's just a dark chocolate brown, great for the outer corner. Um, 
but what I think about these guys I think they are really pigmented I really do love the consistency I love how long they stay on the lid but like I said they are expensive so for the price I would say I don't I don't know for the price I almost would say just get like one of the naked palettes I know I talked about that in um, my MAC favorites because I didn't have any eyeshadows I showed you what my favorite shadows are I would say that the Urban Decay palettes are probably they're a better investment because I think for the price of three of these you can get one of the naked palettes um, oh okay and for a great eyeshadow base this is painterly it's the painterly paint pot this is great um, for pale to medium skin tones um, then they also have a soft ochre or, or yeah soft ochre and that's good for medium to dark skin tones and this is just a really great eyeshadow base um, I just recently got this I've been playing with it under my eyeshadows and it does help your eyeshadow to stay on way longer you guys um, we'll stay on the topic of eyes. I have two eyeliners. The one is uh, Smolder from MAC. This is just a really great basic black. Um, I think everybody and their mother have talked about this eye coal, but it is really great. Um, it's perfect for smudging on the bottom waterline. I would say if you want something that's going to stay and not move, I would recommend um, the IT Cosmetics liners because I feel like those are uh, better for staying in the waterline. They, those do not move. They're great. Um, and then I also have a... Um, Sorry, I just got a text. Um, I got the Black Track Fluid Line. I've used up quite a bit of this. These things last literally forever, you guys. You'll probably own one of these for life because they you only need a small little bit. They dry to a matte finish. They stay all day. They're really, really great. Um, and you can find these where, in, if you're at the Mac store and you're not really sure, typically they're in the same area as your paint pots. Okay, moving right along, I want to jump into lip products really quickly. I have, oh my goodness, one, two, three. I have six lipsticks and three liners. So the first lipstick that I have is Angel. This is my favorite everyday nude, you guys. I wear this all the time. Um, it's just beautiful, great for everyday, great for natural makeup looks. So I love this. The next one that I have is Ruby Woo. I talked about this in my favorites video. It's awesome. It's a matte red, you guys. It is a little bit drying, but if you wear a um, just like a chapstick underneath this, it'll go on super easy, and it does stay all day. It's a great matte red. The next one is Impassioned. This is a crazy hot pink, you guys. The lady at the counter was wearing this, and I was like, oh my goodness, what is that color? And she's like, it's a passion. I'm like, that is gorgeous. She's like, I know. So I had to pick it up. It's beautiful. It's great for springtime, you guys. So if you're looking for like a crazy hot pink color for spring, this is the one. Um, it's gorgeous. If you go, oh, if you guys want to see a look with this, like, let me know, because it, it is one of those that are like, you know what would you wear that with I can show you a couple videos if you'd like to see that and then I have flush pot flush pot was the first the first lipstick well it's the first item I ever got from Mac um, I had seen beauty star 07 no Anyway, I had seen a YouTuber talk about it, and she was talking about like what her favorite lip combo was, and she was talking about MAC Flesh Pot. Unfortunately, this color is way too light for me, um, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to... I need to play with this color more, because I don't want to just get rid of it, but it is way too light, you guys. Sad. Uh, the next one is Rebel, and okay, so everybody had talked about this. So, of course, I was like, I gotta go see what the, the hype's all about. And it is this gorgeous, dark, purple color. It is beautiful. If you guys want to see a look with this, let me know. This is a gorgeous color. I am obsessed. This is my go-to fall lip color. And the last one I have is Shy Girl. I don't wear this one as much either because it's more of a brown nude. Um, and I found that this really doesn't... Oh my goodness, I'm missing a lipstick. I just, it just dawned on me. Okay, so anyway, 
yeah, this is in Shy Girl. I really love this, but I don't wear it as often because I, I don't know. Like, when I reach in my collection for a nude lipstick, I always just reach for Angel. Sometimes I forget that I have this. And it's more of a brown nude, so it's more of a better in the fall if, you know, it looks better in the fall. The one that I don't have is, oh my goodness. I wear it literally all the time and I'm like blanking on the color. Anyway, I talked about it in my, in my MAC favorites, you guys. It is just the gorgeous color and I can't remember what the name of it is. And I can't believe that I didn't bring it over here. I'm going to go get it. Okay. Back. Okay, so it plumful. Duh. This. Oh my goodness, it's the most perfect, like, oh, I love this color. It's beautiful. It looks great on so many skin tones, and I cannot believe that I didn't grab this. I guess I just didn't see it. Um, anyway, we're going to jump into liners now, you guys. So I have the Nice and Spicy Liner, which is a um, pro longwear liner. I was going to get... Um, Spice. I was going to get the Spice Liner, but the lady at the counter was telling me for a dollar more, two dollars more, i get the Pro Longwear Liner and that the Pro Longwear was better. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily better, but it is the same color, so yeah, I like that. Uh, this is the one that I wear with, um, with the Plumful. It is uh, Absolutely It Liner. It's beautiful. I love it. It's like a mauve red purple color and then I have a uh, kiss me quick liner which is great for um, Ruby Woo so I'm sure you guys saw that coming and the last couple products I have you guys are brushes I sorry I'm flying through this but I'm kind of on a time limit and you guys probably don't want to see me ramble about all these different products so uh, I'll just quickly go over these I think I already mentioned to you. I've got the MAC 217. This is great for under the eyes, for blending shadows. Um, I use this primarily for um, under eye concealer, but also setting my under eye concealer. So I really love this brush. The next one is a lip brush. It comes in a little concealer case like this. And this is the MAC 316. This is just a really nice lip brush. And like I mentioned before, you can load your product up and take this on the go because it comes with the little case. And this one is the same exact price as the one that does not come with the case. So I recommend getting the one with the case. So that way you can take it when you go traveling. And then the Universal brush, my favorite brush, is the MAC uh, 130. Oh my goodness, my numbers are rubbing off. The MAC 130. I love this brush, guys. You can use it for foundation. You can use it for practically anything. You can use it for contouring. You can use it for blush. You can use it for under eye concealer. You can use this brush for everything. If, like I mentioned in my MAC's favorite video, going back again, if you could only get one brush from MAC, it, you should get this one. It's just a really great all over face brush. And the last item I have is the MAC. Um, brush cleaner. I don't know how I feel about this. I typically use baby shampoo for my brushes, but um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I think it's pretty good. It's great for just spot cleaning, guys. This is mostly what I use this for. And you can see I don't use a whole lot because I don't really use this as often. I would rather just clean my brushes. But um, I wouldn't say this is a waste of money. I, it's a good brush cleaner, but I just don't use it as frequently as I probably should. So anyway, that was all of my MAC products, you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to see my MAC's favorite video, I will uh, link that down below. That's where I go through my products and tell you guys which ones I think are the MAC must-haves. And yeah, I'm so excited. Um, it is finally springtime. Today is Mother's Day, you guys, so that's why I'm in such a rush because I have to get out the door and go over to my mom's house. But I just wanted to upload this because it was requested. I hope that you guys are having a great day. I'm sorry I've not filmed in a while, but I'm back and I am ready to get more videos uploaded and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!